symbology notes. Uh, this is a commission piece for the redoubtable Leaky Cheese. If you're a fan of the Horse Heresy and know what YouTube is, then I don't need to introduce him. A died in the wool heresy nut Leaky contracted me uh, before the pandemic about a triptych of dreadnoughts to bulk out his army. Dream goddamn commission. During our conversations, we quickly hit on the idea that we wanted to incorporate Argel Tal and Cyrene Volantion because they are such prominent figures within the world. Word bearers legion. Unfortunately Covid hit and it delayed the project a lot. Uh, my thanks to patients, to the patients of Leaky to give me the room to explore this unusual idea and really flesh it out. Commission painting is wonderful when everything go goes according to plan. Unfortunately who could have predicted Covid-19 this year? As above, so below. What is within is without. As the universe, so the soul. Hermes Trimisticus. I believe that's how it's pronounced. So, Argel Tal is the first of the enlightened, a fusion of mortal and the ephemeral realm. He is, or could be, the prototype of what humanity could become. He's a fusion. Like the Sensei or the Illuminati before him, Argel Tal is the vision of the future. He is a master of both realms. He is what humanity could ascend into being. He appears here in the transfigured form, his fingers raised upwards. However, from this transfigured form, he is the inverted, so he's not in reality. In effect, he's in hell. Uh, he's the inversion of humanity. He would be pointing downwards um, towards the nadir of hell rather than upward towards heaven. It's the inversion I wanted to play with. The inverted humanity, the inverted flame, and the inverted book. The Legion's creed of an enlight enlightenment has been flipped. It's been perverted, it's been inverted. The image of the Baphomet with astrological balance is perverted. Cyrene does not point her hand down like the idol, like Baphomet, but instead points it up like Argel Tal. She's pointing upwards towards heaven, her head is raised, golden eyes transfixed by the spheres, whereas Argel Tal is leering downward. Serini's eyes as well is not the portraiture of the saint. This isn't a literal translation of what she would look like in reality. This is a symbolic representation of her insight into the Legion. I've had a few more details for you to explore, but I thought it worthwhile to describe the framework of my thoughts when approaching this project. Hope you've enjoyed this brief summation and dissection of the thought process that went into this project. And I'll leave you with the common phrase, with the phrase we've explored again and again and again, as above, so below. If you were interested in the painting process of this entire miniature, it is now available via Patreon. As of November 5th, 2020, you can see every brush stroke, you can see all the paint recipe in glorious 4K detail, and you can hear about my wonderful ramblings about Baphomet and As Above and So Below, and all the other nonsense that accompanies the symbology of this video. Thank you very much, and I will catch you in the next video.